Hey, Jillian. What's up? No. What am I doing? I was about to cut some wood. I was about to. Actually, I am streaming live right now. Yeah. But I haven't started my recording yet. What's up? No? Oh, not much. I just uh, wanted to ask you. Yeah. Um. Did you get the four hour um, card? Yeah. Oh. It's in there already. I am pretty sure. It's, just, it's still says I have two cents. Unless it's just popping two cents. Well, that's weird, because I swear I put in a code. <laughs> well, let's take a look at that code. We're not going to read it out loud, because we're actually streaming right now. Yes, and that would be bad. Yeah, someone else... I could have sworn I put this in, though. Let's and then someone's going to zoom in on the video and look at it. <laughs> Can you see the code on the video? Oh, no. Okay. The, they have to zoom it in. <laughs> Really yes. far. I can barely. That is. Why is that cold? <laughs> it says you've already redeemed it. Okay, let's see. We will play. What? Here. That doesn't say that anymore. You see that? It said, oh, I, I know. It, it said it couldn't log into email for some reason. Yeah. If that's what you use to help it. Mm hmm. Strange. I agree. Let's try to figure out what's going on here. <laughs> so you wanted to go here, yeah. and you wanted to buy this. Okay. What? Let's try restarting your phone. Okay. As long as it doesn't take eight hours, I'm fine. Why would it take eight hours? Oh, you mean eight hours to restart? There's probably nobody watching this stream, right? <sighs> You're stepping on my cables, though. Watch your foot. Yeah. What? You did? <laughs> no, that's a microphone cable. There. Yep, it sure is. I wonder, is it working? Is my micro? Yep, it is working. Is your phone on yet? Okay, now let's go back to. Where's your game? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Why does my phone always do that? It, it takes like 10 minutes to load all the different apps. Yeah, uh, that has to do with when it's loaded. A bunch more than that. Yeah. And then your phone has the ten dollars. <laughs> it's weird. Mine is different because mine, the icon shows up later, but the game is there right away. The game is in play 
How can you get to it from there? <laughs> Will it work? I'm pretty sure. Nope. Okay, let's see. Let's look at your. Not that. But let's look at your. Money. Account. Okay. See your your balance is that. For some reason the game didn't see that. <laughs> okay, keep that far away from my phone. Because if you drop that on my phone you will break it. We go here and then we click on this guy. I don't understand. Is this a different account? Is this a different account? What do you mean? This is Juju being one three three seven. Is that the one that was? Yeah. What is going on? All right, um, I want you to work with your mom to fix this, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to send her an email, okay? Hi all and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing on my uh, hand tool only workbench build and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of this lumber that I picked up recently. So there's going to be a lot of cutting going on today. Uh, mostly cross cutting because these boards come in 12 foot lengths uh, and well you know they're kind of a little cumbersome and I need to shorten them to make them a little bit more manageable. So why don't I show you uh, what I got and what we're going to chop up. So let me grab this kind of this little guy over here. And we can switch to our mobile view. So here you can see the, the lumber that I bought recently. I've got already I've got three boards cut to length. These things are gonna be um, let's see, they're gonna be uh, glued together to make the top. I need actually a total of 12 of them, but not all of them at this length. So there's three over here, and there's one over here that I'm going to make one of the shorter lengths. Um, and then I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six more. And they're taking a whole bunch of space. Actually, seven. There's one more over here. Taking a whole bunch of space because 
I really can't move around and like move these things. They're putting so much weight on this this uh, bench right now. And then I got these guys over here. Uh, these these two pieces over here are going to be for kind of accent pieces that I was thinking of using. So uh, near where the tail vise is going to be, I'm going to put this big piece over here, and I think it's going to look nice. It's going to have a dovetail in it. And uh, then the kind of the, uh, what is it? The, there's a stop that you can put, because it's a split top workbench, there's a, spot, a stop in between. And for that stop, I'm going to be using that wood. So this is Sapeli that you're looking at. And I'm going today to cut things down to length, mostly, and maybe rip a few of them to width as well. Why don't we get started on all this cutting action? So again, I'll be cutting all this hard maple, and I'll be cutting this apili, just so that I'm working with six and a half and seven foot lengths instead of working with these gargantuan 12 foot lengths of wood. So looking at my measurements, it seems like most things are between 78 and three quarters and 77 inches. So I'm gonna start by just cutting things down to 79 inch lengths, and that's gonna make them much more manageable. So how do we do that? I guess we have to start by finding a tape measure and our trusty square. And then last but not least, here is my marking uh, implement, otherwise known as a pencil. So without further ado, let me move this plane so it doesn't fall. Uh, let's take a look. So this guy I'm going to measure out 79 inches. Where is my 79 inch mark? It is right over here, 79 inches. And just for sanity's sake, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece of wood and I'm going to compare that to the first one. Let me move this so you get a better viewpoint. All right. So I've got this measured out to 79 inches over here. Here's one of my cut wood pieces. Let's make sure that we are happy with these being the same. I didn't get my measurements wrong. Nope, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put this guy here. Let's see if we can move this along. Hmm, maybe I'm gonna need to flip this board around to get it cut right. So let me first mark it off. Let's not go nice and square. Uh, as square as I can because these edges themselves are not square. But, okay, here's one mark. And I'm going to move my nice little sapili over here out of the way. And I'm going to take this guy. Maybe in the future I'm going to be measuring my 79 inches from the other side. We cannot do that. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, coming through, big heavy board coming through. This is actually exactly why I want these cut to length, because they are super heavy right now. All right, and let's play the game of, let's see what we can knock off the tables. Okay. Wow, that was really exciting now, wasn't it? Okay, so here's our 79 inch mark. Let's just take it around. So I was just watching Paul Sellers actually cross-cutting a piece of wood. And what Paul was saying is that really you only need two marks. You need only a one edge and one face because when you start working off the face, you can make sure that your, your saw is actually kind of uh, square to the board. And then as you move down the entire edge, sorry, it's the other way around. The edge is going to make sure that you're cutting square and then the face is going to make sure that you're cutting straight down. Unfortunately, I don't have the same confidence that he has, which is why I'm putting my marks all around, just so I can check myself from both sides. I will be glad to be as good a woodworker as he is one day, but I don't think that's ever going to happen, because he's got quite a bit of a head start on me, doesn't he? All right. So this guy is ready to be cut. I'm just going to move him over here. 
give myself just a tiny bit of support and I'll get my cables mixed up. There we go. And let's get to cross cutting. So this is not my cross cut saw, but over here, now that I can't get to it anymore, is my cross cut saw. Okay. So Do a little finger technique. Let's see if we can get started along this edge. So far, so good. It's like I'm a little off square, but luckily, that's why I gave myself a little spare length so I can fix that later. And back to work. How many of these to cut? Okay, that's one down and about one million to go. Uh, let's point this guy out. Let's see, he's a little bit higher. Maybe. And let's take a look at the quality of our cut over here. So that actually looks pretty nice and smooth to me, so I'm happy with this one. 
And why don't we get a closer view over here of our cut. There you go, you can see. Looks pretty nice and smooth. Those lights are a little bit bright. Now one thing I'm going to mention, actually kind of a mistake that I just did, was as I was cutting over here, I measured and I started cutting on the waist side of the line. But if you remember, I flipped the board right before I started cutting, so you do have to keep straight. What is the waist side? You know, if you start moving your board around. So you got to keep my eye open for that in the future. Now this board is going to turn into a stretcher or something, so it's kind of a spare piece right now because I'm only focused on the workbench top. So I'm going to move it out of the way. Okay, let's see, who's next? I guess I could cut those two lengths of sapili that I have too. But for those, I'm going to have to read and figure out how long I need them to be. Let's see. What is going on, Jujubeen? Did you guys get? Coming to watch the stream. Oh yeah, were you watching the stream now? I'm watching the stream from here. <laughs> yeah. So seventy-eight point three four. I'm gonna just wait a bit. Really? Okay. Maybe I could put maybe it's like two hours. No, that's not true. It should be instant. So I think there's something wrong. I don't think that waiting is going to help. Okay, well, something interesting just happened, and I don't know what's going on. Oh, I see what I did. Well, look at that. Well, I cut, and I checked, and then I cut in the wrong place. That's not good. Is it now, Gigi Bean? Yes. I should have cut on this mark. I don't even know how I went and cut on that mark over there. That's why this piece is much longer. Okay, who's next? What? what yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep cutting them until they're all roughly down to length. And then I'll go from there. Okay, let's see. Do I like that side over there? That side is as good as this side, so why don't we measure from that side? So we want 79 inches. Which is right over here. I'm going to mark it really well. And it doesn't really matter if I'm marking it or not because apparently I don't cut where I mark. You mark somewhere and then you cut. That is true. Let's cut here. Well, you were off by a lot. <laughs> well, don't ask me how, but as my little assistant over here is showing me, I was supposed to cut where I put this mark over here. I was just talking about how you can get confused when you flip boards around, and you can get confused about what's the waist edge and what's not. Well, it turns out that I don't even know how, but I went and I, when I made my mark over here, I actually drew the line further down here. So there must have been something along here that looked like one of my marks. So that basically means that this piece is a little bit over, which is not such a big deal because I can cut the excess off. The sad thing is it means that the other piece 
It's a little bit shorter than, than uh, originally intended. Now, hopefully I'll still be able to make good use out of it. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of crying over spilt milk, but maybe this is spilt wood instead. So I guess, you know, even though I was checking and double checking, it still doesn't always help. So up next, I'm gonna cut this piece of sapilli over here. And one of the things I'm going to make sure this time is that my marks are definitely clear. So I'm going to go over here, and what I'm going to do to make my marks definitely clear, I'm going to find my 79 inch mark, which is over here. I need this to be a little bit less than 79 inch, but I'm going to mark it more than one place just to make sure that I don't mess up. Well, your workbench is going to be a lot of different colors. It's only going to be two colors. It's going to be mostly that color and just a tiny bit of this color just to make it look pretty. And speaking of looking pretty, if you turn around behind you, there's a big block made out of that wood. What do you think of it? Do you think it looks cool? Yep. What do you think? Is that pretty? So that is there just to mostly just to make it look nice, honestly, because I could have used all of the same wood. I even have pieces that I could use, but I thought... Just for kicks, I would actually not. All right, so this time I'm going to try to do a better job and make sure that I'm cutting the right length. So let's just keep registering off of this one face, not that it really matters that much because this isn't squared off yet. But here I'm going to have to register off of this edge. So. Well, actually, let me do the other edge first, so that I can join the two together. On this one, it looks like you wrote, well, you drew like a hundred marks. Where does it look like I drew a hundred marks? There's like these kind of... <laughs> oh, those marks. Everywhere. Yeah. But that's probably something to do with the grain of the wood. It's either to do with the grain of the wood, but my guess is it has more to do with the saw that was used to cut this wood. All right, so here's my marks, but since I did such a bang up job last time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and double check it anyway. Now that I've got my marks all the way around, let's line this all the way up till the end. Does that line up over there? It's pretty close, right? How about now? It's good? All right. Now the good thing is that that piece of sapili is going to be a lot lighter than everything else that I have. Ooh, but it's very long. So because it's a lot lighter, I'm going to use that as my reference from this point on, just because I can move it around. Now, unfortunately, I have to find a creative place that I can saw this because it is so long. And this doesn't look like it's... Where's your, like, hammer? You can just make, like, a billion... Oh, I'm going to have many of those. You're talking about like these offcuts that I could use to make things like mallet hammers, but you only need so many mallet hammers, don't you? Yeah. But if so something breaks, uh -huh. I'll have a spare. <laughs> oh. Alright, there we go. Now this wood is not supposed to be quite as hard as hard maple, although it is a nice hard wood. So because it's not as hard, as hard as hard maple, I expect to be able to cut through it much faster. It also is four quarter instead of eight quarter. square back here mostly Ooh, that smells really good this wood smells nice and fresh come here and get a smell get away mm. smells nice doesn't it Alright, 
and see if we can finish this nice and straight without breaking off too much. I don't know. <laughs> Spinning this all handful is probably a while. It'll take me a while, but I don't have any reason to rush. Oh no! Oh, that was. I should have yelled out timber as that thing was splitting. All right. Now hopefully this won't happen again. You know what it is? Maybe I need to move my table saw back a little bit. So here's an off cut. And while I'm gathering my breath, I'm going to move my table saw back just a little. Okay. It is. I suppose you can call anything you want a workbench, right? Which, what? You wouldn't use that. Oh, I guess I wouldn't use that as a workbench either. Because that would just collapse. All right. So I'm going to use this as my yardstick, assuming that I measured it right. So let's take a look. Looks like 79 inches to me, so I'm happy with this one. All right. Up next. And this one is extra. Actually, this one, here, let me take my mic off, is going to be safe for another project. Oh, no, that's not true. I need a little bit of it. Yeah, I do need a little bit of it. Okay. Okay, heads up, because I need to spin this guy around. We're spinning, 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 spinning. Heads down. Or, yeah, head's just out of the way. How about that? Okay. Out she come. Oh, no, don't fall out of my hand. Oh, no. Ooh. All right. And out you go. Okay. Oh my god. Is that the right thing to do? Yes, it is because I want to keep that end. Now, I'm not going to need to play the helicopter trick that I just did once I have a good workbench because things are going to be much tidier and better organized. Where is my 79 inch mark? Right here. And you know what? I said I was going to put more than one just to make sure that I don't get confused like I did last time. So there we go. We've got two of them now. And still, because that's not enough, I'm going to check it one more time by doing what? By taking this guy, who I know is 79 inches. Is that lining up to those marks? Not. Yeah, it's pretty close, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I think when I saw you put the thing, it... It might have been just like a little bit off, but I didn't know. You mean last time? Yeah. When you compared it to the light one before you were trying it, I think it was just like oh. half of a half of a millimeter. Half of a millimeter off. Oh. Half of a half of a millimeter off. Uh, that would be a quarter of a millimeter, wouldn't it now? Yeah. This would be easier to see. Alright, so we're going to mark this. I'd like to see you using that as a saw and cutting it with that. Cutting it with a ruler. Well, like, like a sharp tip ruler. Well, it sounds like it would take me forever. <laughs> Is that an evil laugh, my friend? No. The rulers at my school, they, yeah. they have little metal tips. I don't know why. Metal tips on, oh. All right, would you like to try sawing? Why not? Big. It's big. Too big for me. Well, let's see. All right. Now that I've marked this all around, and I'm so paranoid that I'm going to check it one third time. So here are my marks. The ends line up. You're standing on my cable. Sorry. All right. Let's see, where does this come? Okay, I gave myself enough room now, I think. Just about. Oh, I can move this guy out of the way a little bit too. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm going to get it started, and then maybe you can try a little bit, okay? Okay. 
So first I'm going to put my thumb over here carefully to hold the saw. That's just when you're getting in. Okay. Okay. Now that I've got that, I'm going to stand it up so you can come along this line. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to do what I'm doing. You're just going to put your hand here, and you're going to pull it back and push it forward. You're going to let the saw do most of the work. You don't have to press down. You're just going to keep sliding it back and forth and back and forth. You want to try? Yes. All right. I've learned that from cutting my steak. <laughs> That's true. I guess You don't it's... have to push. Hard. All right. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> stop. You stop. Let's try pairing. Kind of yeah, but you need to come a little bit more this way. Okay, now try it. You might prefer the Japanese saw. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, let's try this. Let's set it down here. And why don't you try it this way? This might be a little... See what I'm doing? You think you want to try that? Sure. Hmm. Yeah, let me get to the point where it's here. Just move away so that I don't saw your arm off accidentally. Yeah. Why don't you try that? And the important thing is that you're going straight up and down. You're not pulling it to one side or the other, right? There. Okay. I might want to try the Japanese saw. Okay, we'll do the next cut with the Japanese saw, okay? Also pulled off a piece. So let's see. <clears throat> this extra piece should be about the same length as its brother, sister, brother. Not sure. Are pieces of wood male or female? Ancestor. Who would you say that? Sibling. If we say sibling, we don't have to worry about whether they're boys or girls, do we? All right. Let's take or a look. Random gender piece of wood. Oh. Okay. You have a saw on a chisel. I do? Yeah. <laughs> on a <your> chisel handle. <laughs> okay, so you think you want to try this saw. You just have to be really careful not to bend this saw. Yes, from past experience, I've seen the first try of using one of these, it, it, it kind of bent. It kind of bent, and that's not really good. I mean, okay, it has to be expensive. Well, it's not expensive. It's just the fact that you have to wait for a new one to come in if you ruin your old one. And if you uh, need to buy a new saw every time you cut a piece of wood, boy, that's going to be expensive. All right. It's expensive to buy the wood and very expensive to buy a saw whenever you want to cut wood. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to have to make two cuts on this piece. Because when I bought this at the store, I noticed that there was a big split going all the way down this piece of wood. 
Now the guy at the store was kind enough to knock off some of the money, so I don't have to pay for the full amount. Okay. But that basically means that I'm going to have to make two cuts. So the first one, I don't really care about the distance so much, but what I do care is that it gets out of behind my nasty part, which would be right over here. Boy, that's still heavy, even though it's not quite as long as the other guys. Watch your fingers. To me, that's a really long piece of wood. This is really long? Yeah, it is. it's not short, but it's just not quite as long as the other one. That's all. You sure about that? Yep. I am super duper positive. It's true. Okay. Well, yeah, but you know what? I was super duper positive I was cutting the other one in the right place, and you saw what happened with that. <laughs> so now the question is, if we were to cut that, do we still have 79 inches? And the answer is, we sure do. Okay. So this guy's going to be twice the work because we've got to cut it twice as much. How's that working for you? You're actually making my mark... Not as sharp. Yeah, I, I make it. You must cut right here. <laughs> the mark is here. Okay, so. <clears throat> We're going to try the Japanese saw for this one. The difference between the Japanese saw is this one cuts when you pull, not when you push. The other one cuts when you push, not when you pull. I did not want to go when I was pushing. <laughs> when you were pushing. It's just like, I want to stay right here. Hmm, but it's on the pole that it cuts. Okay. What we're going to try to do is maybe we're going to try to immobilize it a little bit. So it doesn't move as much. So we'll have a better chance of cutting. Not a better chance, but it will be easier. Except this is a pretty big guy. Okay. Yeah, where'd you get that blister from? Handle. Handle at a scooter. A scooter. Gee. I don't like it. I don't like blisters either. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be cross-cutting with this side. Using the wrong side. Did you want to try this one? Let me see if I can find a bigger clamp that we can use to hold on to this wood. Just a sec. I guess I'm going to have to unplug just a minute. You can now hear us! Okay, we are back to the land of the audible. So, watch what I'm doing, and I want you to do the same. So this one, it's when you pull that it cuts, but 
And I want you to be careful because it's thin. If you have like, if you're holding it from the side as you push it, you're gonna twist it and make a kink in it. All right. So I just want you to go like this. You don't actually need to give it any force. The saw is gonna do all the work. Okay. Push. So what you want to try to do is use more of the length of the saw. Yeah, even more of the saw. It's not going anywhere. You don't have to hold it. You can also try using both hands. Okay. There you go. Now you're not going straight. You're not going straight. You're bending it. There you go. I think we'll just rely on you to do the cuts. You want me to do these cuts? Okay. Oh, actually, it's getting stuck. Oh, it's really getting stuck. So we can try if it's getting stuck. Let's see if it. Yep, it's possible that because of the cracks in the wood, the wood is actually moving now as I start to cut it. I heard that that can happen. Wow, it's getting stuck again. It's such a nice clean cut, but it keeps getting stuck. Seems to be working better now. You want to try that? You want to try it this way or not? Come on. There you go. Now let me do something for you. I'm going to come all the way till I get to the bottom here, and then I want you to start cutting the rest of it. Okay. okay. All right. So now I want you to cut this way. And down a little bit, you need to press down just a little bit as you're going. Not much, just a little bit. It does get stuck a bit. You're doing good. Bring it down a little bit because you're not cutting anymore. Okay, go. Is that hard for you? 
All right, let's see. Is it tiring? Yeah, it sure is tiring. I bet I can finish that much. What? I bet I can finish that much. This is just how I, I'll see if, I, if I'm cutting it. Don't bend it. Up there. Is it stuck? Yes. Oh. Ha! Very good. I did it. Excellent work. I don't know how to hand the saw this somewhere. I know how to hand a knife. Yeah. By the blade. So this makes a nice smooth finish, actually. <laughs> Those are going to turn into the legs. Really? I said they're going to turn into the legs. Yeah. So this is that extra piece that was split. Uh, yeah, you can see the crack actually. Yes, both hands. <laughs> what? You could use them. Uh, maybe, but why would I want to? <laughs> yeah, like you would want your work back. I suppose I could glue the crack together and everything, but but what's the point? Or you can take it apart and use it to make two more hammer handles. Now I have a crack on the other end too, so I'm going to measure my 79 inches over here. Is the crack on the other side though? Yeah, but not as big. This one was very long. I, I will mark everything. You will mark it? Okay, 79 inches is where? Here. Right here, right? Yep. Okay, we're going to make another mark too. I think I'll use this. Be that looks pretty good. There. There's okay. Our marks. We've got our two marks. Hey, now, we we're going to double check that our marks are in the right place. Are we happy with our marks? Oh yeah, you're standing right in front of the camera. What? Two of these. Of these? Two. You're in front of the camera. Those are the extra pieces, because it was very long. Yeah, you're standing right in front of the camera, by the way. You are standing right in front of a camera. No one can see. Do you know that... Yeah. Kiki brought you on the... She did? I see. Well, she was seeing your back for the last five minutes. <laughs> see? You're going to slowly walk back and then... Yes. Can I have my pencil, please? She couldn't put you on my mobile. Why not? Why not? All right. Okay, here you go. Then I will go to the source. Yeah. Oh, that works too. Okay, you didn't make it all the way till the end, and I need that line to be all the way till the end. So that I can see it. Because I also need to come past this side and past this side. We do that so that we can then turn it. Okay, we can turn it this way. And we go over here. You mark like that. You can do the other. Oops. You can do the other side. So we're gonna take it past this too. And then watch your fingers. We go this side. And then we're gonna mark, but we're gonna measure from the same side. I'm always measuring from the same side. Right Yeah. Do it again. And then we're going to take it just a little past. And then last but not least, we're going to connect the two dots, which are this dot and that dot. Which shouldn't be too hard. Should not be too hard at all. Except that the wood's not square. Okay, there you go, you can do it. There you go.
Okay. So we have marks all around. Now I want you to watch your head, my friend, because I gotta spin this piece around. Okay, coming through, coming through, coming through. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. So which sauce should I use? Japanese or not Japanese for this cut? Which one did you think was best? The other one is faster, I think. You think I should use the faster one or the Japanese one? Okay, faster it is. So where's my faster saw? What's that? Yeah, there is a difference. So this one is called a crosscut saw. This one is, you know, the grain goes in this direction. This one is used when you're cutting across the grain, so you're actually shortening the grain. Now, if you cut along the grain, that's called ripping, and you use a rip saw. So that's a rip saw, and you use that to cut this way, lengthwise, along the grain. Make sense? Yep. Oh. Actually, before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to triple check my measurement. Triple check. Can you see that that lines up on that end, please? It's good. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Because this has a big bow in it, it may, keeps moving around because it's got a high spot in it. No, it's, it's wobbling because it's curved, right? Yes, it has a curve in it, and so basically it's spinning on that curve. So I'm hoping that by putting that, it's going to make it wobble a little bit less. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 
go. Okay. There's two extra pieces. Okay, you should ask her to look at that link and do what they say then to go fix it. They say you need to call up and ask for help. Okay? All right. It was a link to something that says who to call to get help. Okay. So, I just don't like these really big pieces here. They're really inconvenient. So, my goal today is to make sure that they're all cut short. And then, you can come this way as long as you don't just stand right in front of you. You could stand over there if you. You want to sit? No, I'm saying you can come there. You can sit. Do you want to sit? Yeah, you could sit right here if you'd like. Have a seat. Okay, now this one, you see how there's this thing? I think when he measured it, much less than this. So when he measured it though, I think he measured it here. You know what I mean? Instead of measuring it here. And most of it is actually this big. He cut it for you? No, he measured this width. He didn't measure this width. He measured this way all the way through? Yes. That's nice. Yeah, that was nice of him. So I only need about four inches, which is about this much. And here I have a good five inches. Do I like this side or do I like the other side better? I think I like this side. Boy, this piece is very heavy. This piece is very, very heavy. Okay, that's plenty. Okay, so 79 inches again. So my first cut today, I took one of the pieces and I measured it and I marked it and then I drew the line further away. <laughs> further, not closer. No, because it was further, it's okay. It just means that the, the extra piece is a little bit shorter now. And hopefully I don't need that extra piece for something else. But like I told you, I, I'm not done yet because I do need some more anyway. But that's why I'm checking three times now instead of just once. Before I was saying, you know what, I will measure it and then I will check it against one of my other pieces. And I did that, but that wasn't enough. Even though I measured it and checked it, it still wasn't enough. I'm not sure how I made that mistake. So what I will do is I will take this guy, who is the right length, and is nice and light. I'll put him over here, put him up against this thing. That's right. Okay. All right. matter did she call the number I don't know she, she, I, she just said I know 
I know about that. I couldn't. Did she call the number? I'm not sure. Ask her. There's a phone number there. She needs to call and speak to a human being or contact somebody. Okay. I think I have to turn this one around too. I don't like turning them around, they're so heavy. Because there's not enough room over there. Yes. Okay. No, actually, this one came from the store. Came like that? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It might not be flat. You feel this big bump right here? Now, do you feel this big bump right here? Go like this. No, no, go like this. Go like this. There's a little bump there. Dad, go like this. Here. More, like here, right here. Just do this, please. Just do exactly what I'm doing. Don't stop. From here to here. This part. Yeah. And that side. What's that? No, but when I'm going to stick two pieces like this, it's going to make a big deal. That's called snipe. So that happens because when you're putting it through the machine to make it the right thickness or something like that, the, basically as it comes out, it's a little bit heavy, and so it sticks out a little bit, and then the machine takes more off of the end. That's one reason that it happens. The other reason that it happens is maybe the machine has more than one roller going on it, and then basically the pressure is not the same anymore when it comes off of the end of the roller. Does that make sense? Because the end part doesn't have as many rollers holding on to it. Okay, I'm going to try for kicks. I'm going to try using the Japanese saw again for this one. I'm going to make sure I'm using the right side of the saw. Yeah. She doesn't care about it. What's that? Everything that what? She doesn't care about anything that Faster, this one or the other one? I think the other one is faster. You can go through something this big.
A lot slower? Ooh, why didn't anyone tell me that I was coming that far off the line? Is, is that's the sign I'm removing. Okay. Okay. All right. How many more pieces? Many. <laughs> many more to go. What? I have to cut that one because that one was too long. Okay. Eight. Why do we send you to school if you can't count? I can count. I don't think you can. Uh huh. Why were you saying six, seven, eight? You were saying six, seven, eight. 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 Okay. Why is this part of the wood is like black? Six, seven, eight. That's burnt. Yeah. Huh? Because there was a circular saw that was cutting it, and it looks like the saw probably got stuck. Okay, which side? Oh, this one has a split too. There's a split on that side. But that split is well out of the way. You see the split right there? It's not that bad. The only thing is I don't like this side, which means I want to cut on this side, which means that maybe I want this end of the wood instead. This one has no split, right? Yep. Okay, what's up with this piece of wood? What about it? Yep. I see it. That's not good. Nope, I don't need that part though. Excuse me. Oh, heavy guy. Are you going to have to do the helicopter? I don't think I want to do it with this one. It's so heavy. But you could. I might have to, but maybe I'll just find another way to cut it without spinning it around. 
Watch out. This pencil. Okay, yeah, why don't you put that pencil away? So it's not in the way. That's a good idea. You can put it. Okay. As long as it's not in the way. It is not the way. Okay. I don't like blisters either. They do after a while. Okay. So. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put it on my line again. It's good, right? Well, it, it, it's a bit off here. Okay. Well, how far off? Why don't you just push it in? Then? All right. Uh... Okay. Yeah, okay. <sighs> so do I spin it around? I don't think I'm going to spin it around. Julian? Julian? Hmm. Yeah, I'll just do it over here. Sure that this is faster. Maybe it's not faster.
Well, not really extras. They're just, uh, they're going to be for the other parts, the parts that go across and on the bottom and things like that. things on this table. Did you, um, are you going to help Jillian or not? Yeah, one of them had a customer service line on it. That, basically that credit's supposed to be instantaneous and it's showing up in his account. Okay. Okay. No, no, wait, please don't leave. Please don't leave. Come on, because, you know.
All right, now I have to find out which of these two sides I like better. Yeah, they're all curved. Well, not, you see, this one is twisted. Twist. This one's twisted, yes. I don't like this. I also don't like how low it comes because that means I have to make all of it this thin. But this cutting on the logs, you have to do it. Okay, if you say so. You know I will not, right? Hmm? I said, you know that I will not, right? <laughs> I know. Yes. That you are stubborn. No, actually, I, yeah, not me. You are. Because <laughs> I told you I want to do it by hand, and you keep saying no. So, um... Uh, I don't like this, either. Okay. This will have to be the bottom. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll remove that and then I'll use this piece. This is twisted and bent and yeah. from every side. Yeah, that's true. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a piece right here. I'm just going to remove this piece completely. If you want shorter pieces, yeah. It has to cut. What do you mean? It has to cut. Why not? Yeah, because of what? Of this default? Yeah. No, not because of that. Wait, hang on a second. Oh, wait a minute. Just a minute. <sighs> I mean, ideally, I would start from here.
Let's start around here. And do we? And then I measure 69 inches, 79 inches. Here. Two. Zero. Wait. What? It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it it can be longer a little bit. Oh, I see. There's a mark right here. What is that? Okay. Yeah, I think I'll use that. Okay, that's one. And that's two. And then I should make sure that this can fit. Okay, that's good.
Are you lifting it? No, you're not lifting it, right? No, it's okay. This hand is tired, not this hand. This is easy. <laughs> This whole thing just went up.
Three more. Which curve? I'm sure it does. I'll have to get rid of the twist. Actually, I should say at least three more. <laughs> That side, right? Here it's going straight in your right hand. Then it starts to stop. I mean this? That's easy to fix. Okay. That's easy to fix. I don't want this. This side doesn't bother me. I can fix that. That doesn't bother me at all. That's easy to fix with them. Um, with a plane. This, on the other hand, will have to be on the underneath because I can't put it on the top. Heavy.
Okay. So what I don't like about this one is this knot over here. I think planing this knot to make it nice and smooth will be very, very difficult. <clears throat> oh, I need only four inches actually, so I'm going to remove a lot more than that. But this knot goes down until here. You can see that from this side. You see how the knot comes all the way down there? It's a big curve, isn't it? from the line there. Looks nice, right? Okay.
Yeah. There is anything wrong at the other end? Just the curve. I said just the curve. thinner on this end. It's thicker on this end. Yeah. Thicker on this end. I think I like that end better. I can either take this or I can remove it. Or you take all. I can go from that side. I just have to make it thinner because. That. No, not that. Again, this is easy. It's when it goes like this that I have to remove and make the whole thing flat. And so if you see. Over here, <clears throat> you see how this whole side has not been touched? This is smooth, right? This is smooth and this is rough, right? That means that this is lower. This The rough part is lower than this part because when they went and smoothed it, it covered this, but it never touched this because it's thinner here. And the thing is that it's also thinner on the opposite corner. Oh, but that's not much actually. Maybe I'll take this side. Yeah, maybe I'll take this side over here. And then we'll save that and see what we do with it. So, 79 inches again. <laughs> And do you know that 79 is actually not the final number? Which means that after everything is almost ready, I'm going to have to cut it again. But maybe what I'll do is I'll stick all of the pieces together first, and some will come out and some will be a little bit less, and then I'll cut them all together. Does that make sense? But that's going to be a big... It's going to be four inches. A ton. It'll weigh a ton. That's right. It'll be four inches and it'll be 12 inches long. And it'll weigh a ton. Half a ton because I have two of them. So each one will be half a ton. Okay, let's say, let's say we use this.
So the other thing I learned recently, which is kind of interesting, is that you only need one side and one edge to do measurements. And then you can draw lines all around the side. So to give you an example, let's say I'm using this edge and this side, right? So I can put the square over here, and then I can draw a straight line. That is square on this edge, right? Then the thing is, how do we do this one? Well, now what I do is I put the square. Remember, I like this side too, here, right? And then it's like, well, how do I do this bottom one? Because I don't like this and I don't like this. So what you do is then you have to come back to this side from here. And I can still use the same edge that I like. Right? And so with one edge and one side, you can actually mark all four sides. And so because of that, what they do is they make sure that these two are perfect, which I didn't do, of course. But you would make sure the two of them are perfect, and then you can do all your measurements, and they come out really good. Does that make sense? So for me, it was this edge that I liked. And see, what happens is if you do it right, the lines end up connecting if you do it properly. If you don't do it properly, then what happens is each time you go around, maybe you're spiraling up a little bit, and then they don't, they're kind of... It depends on how crooked everything is. If it's very crooked, it'll be a lot. But this is already, it's curved, it's not flat, which means that because of the curve, let's say it's curved a lot, that means that when I put this, maybe because, you know, so it could be a very, very bad. Um, uh, yeah, but a few millimeters is a lot. You don't need them, no. Yeah. So the reason I did this is because it looked to me like they tried to, you know, I mean, this went through a saw over here, you know? And I don't know why it got stuck in, the, oh, well, I know why it got stuck in the saw. You know why it got stuck in the saw? Because it's very hard. <laughs> this part over here is very hard. And so it got stuck in, stuck in the saw. And what you can see, this these two lines over here, the, the teeth of the saw are bigger than the body of the saw. So this is kind of the rest of the saw over here. And this is just, you can see how big the teeth are. And so these teeth actually are, were doing cutting, but this thing was kind of rubbing against it. And then the wood wasn't moving. Okay, so before I cut, no, there's one more. Actually, maybe two more. So remember I told you one of them I measured wrong and I cut it too big? So I'm going to fix that one. And then, if you remember, actually, maybe you don't know, but um, one of the other pieces is shorter. There's two shorter pieces. And I think I can cut it shorter, but I need to check the plans again just to make sure. But that shorter piece like needs the screw and everything, which I didn't buy yet. So should I try the Japanese saw? <laughs> Variety, I guess. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's slower. Yeah. I don't think this is slower. Do you think it's slower? Yeah. Do you think it's slower? It seems just as fast, right? Just as fast. Yeah. This one. Yeah. It's not slower than that one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Which one is quicker? This one is quicker. I'm saying it's not slower, which means, yeah, you're saying it's even quicker, because I thought that one was quicker. Big chunk. Huh? Feel this though. The Japanese saw much more soft. Okay. Okay. Now where's the one? It's one that is too long. This one. Now I get to decide which side I like better. Why? So this comes to here, which is this line. What would be great is if I can remove this, but I don't think so. You see this? Do you know what this is? Yeah, well, this is like a cut inside here. It's from the straps that I was putting on the car. Oh. Okay. It's just outside, which is okay because this is a little bit longer than I need. So I'm going to cut this side. that What's the name of this one? Hard maple. What? Hard maple. There's also soft maple. 
And I think soft maple is still pretty hard, <laughs> you know? It's just not as hard as this one. Let's see. You saw I turned around and I measured from this side again. This time. So here it's off by a, actually this one's off by less than a millimeter. I showed you this, right? Did I show it to you after I did this side too? Well, not very much, only a little bit, because you can still see some of the saw marks, but it, it's not nearly like this. This can look like this. What's interesting about this one, though, is it has like um, two different directions, the grain. You see that? Well, yeah, but, but I guess what I'm saying is that these, these, these rings are very, very different. You feel this one is rough, this one is smooth, this one is rough, this is smooth again. So it's almost as if things are changing direction every year. You know? It's moving a little bit. I wonder where Tiffany went.
Look at that. My first scratch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need some help? You need some help? Yeah. Huh? Okay. <sighs> okay. I've got eleven out of twelve pieces.
Well, you can see next to me over here. Well, you can see next to me I've, um, I've cross-cut all of the pieces. With one exception, actually, this wide piece over here is going to be a little bit shorter. The reason for that is because after I laminate the top, one part of it is not going to reach as long because that's where the sliding, um, there's going to be a sliding tail vise. And it's going to be inside, actually. It's not going to be one of those vices that go inside, outside, that they extend outside, but rather it's going to be one of the hidden vices inside. I forgot what the name of that is. Well, um, in any case, um, oh wait, now I remember what it's called. So now uh, most of the cross cutting is done. I don't have any more 12 foot uh, lengths of wood, which means that everything is more manageable. Um, I have six full length pieces over here, which is going to be half of the, the um, bench top. And then I have another four full length pieces over here and one which will probably work out, which is not quite full length. And the reason for that is because I'm going to have a wagon vise at the end of that. So now it's time to start ripping to, to, length, to width rather. Howdy. Where are you going? Hey, I have a question. Are we staying in for dinner or are we going out? In? All right, let's see if I can get my sawhorses out of there.
Oh. I am trying to find a good edge that I could use as a straight edge right now. Now if I trust this to be straight, it means that this edge over here, which I once thought was straight, She has a bit of a bow in the middle. Try measuring that with something that is a little bit more straight. Like, let's try this level, for instance. All right, well, I guess this is not a good straight edge then. Uh, I think I see a straight edge. I will be right back. Well, so I'm still feeling a little bit spry after all of that cross cutting, which means that maybe I'll try ripping a piece right now. One challenge I have is it's hard for me to find. I don't actually have any straight edges that are this long. So I'm going to try to use the one piece that I believe I've done a good job with. And as I place it on this piece of wood, one thing I'm surprised to find is that the bow is so much that if I put it on its narrowest part, which is kind of like there's a high, basically a, a low spot here in the middle, I'm coming out a good half inch on either end, which means it's a gargantuan bow on this side. I guess I could see, um, I could see what 
happens on the other side to see if the other side's any better. Now let's lay it down flat. Now it looks like the other side is also equally guilty of kind of this gigantic bow. So I think what that means is there's going to be a lot of elbow grease, not only with the saw to get everything cut, but it's also going to be kind of the same issue with the plane afterwards as I try to remove some of these high spots here. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some marks over here, which I'm going to consider the, the start of my reference point. And I'm going to allow myself enough in the middle to take off as I surface plane this whole thing. So I'm going to mark a spot over here, and then I'm going to mark maybe along the middle. Maybe I'll even just draw a whole line if I can do this carefully without moving this board. And then, that was not good because my pen did not have enough lead sticking out. Let's try that again. Then what I think I will do is I will use this and measure my width over here. Let's take a look now. Even this piece that I'm using as a reference is not at its final dimensions. However, I am satisfied that it's almost straight on both sides. Not completely, but almost. And now that I've mucked it all up, I'm going to go and measure things with a ruler. Okay. All right, well, I'm not happy with this at all. So I just need to figure out what to use as a straight edge as I do all my measurements. I guess what I can do is I will use this guy and draw a nice definitive line this time. Okay, and now the width that I'm looking for.
I imagine watching somebody uh, just ruling, measuring out with a ruler is probably not the most interesting thing to see, but you do have to be somewhat meticulous about this. So please be patient with me. Do is I can connect the dots as I find them. There's two of them right there. Okay. Well, I've got a lot of lines, but at least one of them should be correct. Let me extend it on this side over here. And I suppose we can go down this way. Actually, I don't like going down this way because this thing has a serious bulge on it. But I guess that as long as I'm a little bit over, I should be okay. I'm having trouble um, drawing straight lines, eight foot long, or actually seven foot long straight lines on a piece of wood that's kind of bowed already, and and it's it's got big curves in it and everything. And I guess um, all I'm doing is I'm trying to cut this down roughly to size, so then I can go and I can uh, finalize it. Um, yeah, on second thought, maybe what I'm going to do, rather than ripping one of them to length, is I'm going to first try to finish one face and one edge and then see if I can measure off of that, because I could probably do a much better job. Why don't we do that? And uh, I guess to do that, I'm going to move my setup around a little bit, so I'll see you soon.
All right, I'm almost done. I realized that watching somebody moving cables around is probably not the most exciting thing to do. On the other hand, watching someone saw wood for hours straight must be the most exciting thing anyway. So uh, I'm going to get the award for the most exciting stream on YouTube, I'm sure. And for my next trick, I'm going to show you how to watch paint as it dries. It's pretty exciting too. Okay, so now I'm a little bit happier that things are situated better. Uh, my cables are mostly out of the way. I do need a little power strip so I can plug in my laptop so I get some juice. Otherwise, this video feed will unfortunately be interrupted, and I know you guys will all be super duper disappointed if that happens. So let's get our juice ready, and then We've got that, and we're good to go. Okay, well, here we go. And now we're, uh, yes, let's adjust our flame cam. Move these rags out of the way. We're not going to be needing our mineral spirits anymore. Okay, for my next trick, now that I've cleaned everything off, It's time to start planing some wood. So my goal is to plane and joint one side, right? Well, let's see if we can get this done. Okay, let's get this vice out of the way. Make sure our winding sticks are ready. Hey all, so I'm back. Uh, I was planning on trying to rip a piece of wood, but I found it kind of frustrating trying to measure this piece of wood. Just measure it so I could mark it so that I can rip it straight and true, um, or at least I can try to. And, and the reason for that is because there's a gigantic bow on one end of it, um, as well as kind of the, the center itself is bulging. So basically this edge is bulging, which makes it really, really hard to measure a nice width along the entire thing. And also, the center of it has a big bulge, which means I couldn't even put something flat on top of it. So rather than getting to the ripping right away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to flatten out this one face, and I'm also going to flatten out and square this one edge to it. So then I'll have something that I can go and reference off of and work on the other side and see if I can get this whole thing to be a somewhat even width. And uh, in terms of getting the final width, I'm not too worried about that yet, because once I laminate all the pieces together, that's when I'm going to go with my whole plane and then actually get the whole thing to be one thickness. So why don't we get started and uh, see what we got. I have my number five over here and I do have my number eight over here. The other thing I was going to maybe use is my smoothing plane. I've got my nice smoothing plane over here. I don't know if I'm going to need that one yet. Um, and uh, let's see what we can do. First I'm going to make a slightly better introduction than this. Hey all, I'm looking a little battered and I haven't even done one rip cut yet. So uh, my plan was to do some ripping today, but before I do any ripping, what I was going to do is I was going to see at least if I could um, smoothen out and flatten out one of these boards, maybe a couple of them, because 
I'm finding it very, very hard to measure boards that are not, you know, that, that have these giant curves along their edge because then I can't really easily get a nice big square kind of um, measurement for my rib cutting. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my winding sticks. I'm going to see if I have any twists. I'm going to see if I can get rid of, I do know that this one has a bow in the middle, a bulge in the middle. <laughs> and I also know that this edge is bowed big time. So I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the bow on the edge. I'm going to get rid of this bulge in the middle. And then I'm going to see if I can give myself a nice one quarter inch kind of, uh, sorry, four and a quarter inch thickness of wood. Um, so why don't we start with our winding sticks over here and see what we can do. So I'm placing my winding sticks. I'm going to come all the way to the end over here. I'm going to sight down and look for a twist. And I'm actually not really seeing much of a twist. There may be a tiny bit of a high spot on one side, but it's not very much at all. At least not noticeable with these sticks. Let's try that again. Yeah, there's a little bit of a twist. This back side over here is a little bit higher than this side over here. So I'm going to take just a tiny bit more off of this side. So maybe, um, I guess maybe the first thing I'm going to do before I worry about that too much is get a little bit of kind of the center bulge off. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. All right, I'm still seeing some high spots, but before I worry about that too much, uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to see if I can find um, twists or not in the wood. So to do that, I'm going to put my winding sticks over here. So I'm going to put one on this side. I'm going to take one and put one all the way on this side over here. And then I'm going to sight down it. Uh, 
I don't see any twist in the board, which is good. So one thing I do notice though is that I had put some pencil marks over here and they haven't left yet, which means that there's a high spot in the middle. Actually, the pencil marks haven't left off of either side. So why don't we see if we can uh, smooth that out a little bit. Maybe, okay, maybe you're too aggressive. I should also flip this board around because I think it feels to me like the grain is fighting me. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to see if I can expose the grain on the end. It looks like this whole time I was playing up against the grain, so let's flip this guy over. Let's try not to destroy the garage door while we do it. Okay. Nope, I'm definitely going against the grain now. This is not good at all. So let's flip this guy end over end again. And back here. And now let's try seeing if we can do a better job.
all right i'm going to see how we're doing up against this face over here as you can see this whole thing is rocking a lot which tells me that there's a giant bone in the middle and what I might do is even if I don't trust this let's try this edge too yeah big rock there's a bow here for sure so let's see if we can get rid of some of the material here in the middle get rid of that bow do is I'm going to mark this area over here because I want to get rid of some material here. Let me switch to my jack plane. Too aggressive now isn't it and I don't think I want to use my smoothing plane for that anyway Actually, you know what? I'm really not up for this tonight. <laughs> Sorry, but the planning is going to have to wait until. Um, let's see. No, maybe I won't give up just yet. Let's see. How are we looking over here? Yeah, I could see the bulge. There's the definitive bulge right over here. There's also a knot here.
Still fighting the Battle of the Bulge here. I really don't have it in me, and I think that means it is a good time to stop. I'll see you all later, and thanks for watching.